Welcome again right now at 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 6 through 13. Irony and sarcasm. Paul writes, Now these things, brothers, I have in a figure transferred myself and Apollos for your sakes, that in us you might learn not to think beyond the things that are written, that none of you be puffed up against one another. Paul here is referring to the things that are written, the scriptures. Obviously, he's not talking about his own letter. Remember, don't forget, we are reading somebody else's mail here. Paul wrote 1 Corinthians as a letter, a simple letter from Paul to the believers in Corinth. We're reading somebody else's mail here. And Paul is talking about not going beyond that which is written, referring to the so-called Old Testament, that is BC scriptures, teaches us not to be puffed up against one another, not to be arrogant, not to be proud, teaches us against natural human pride. Verse seven, for who makes you different? And what do you have that you didn't receive? But if you did receive it, why do you boast as if you had not received it? Paul here is making a point. Listen, you received what you got from somebody else, so don't think you're so good. Verse 8, you are already filled. You have already become rich. You have come to reign without us. Yes, and I wish that you did reign, that we also might reign with you. For I think that God has displayed us, the apostles, last of all, like men sentenced to death. For we are made a spectacle to the world, both to angels and men. Paul has always got this consciousness here that there are other people watching you, that there are other beings always watching. There are the angels, as we will read about in Hebrews the great cloud of witnesses, the watchers. For we are made a spectacle to the world, both to angels and men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You have honor, but we have dishonor. Even to this hour, we hunger, thirst, are naked, are beaten, and have no certain dwelling place. They were homeless. Verse 12, we toil working with our hands. When people curse us, we bless. Being persecuted, we endure. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world, the dirt wiped off by all, even until now. And indeed, we serve a God of inversion. We serve a God who will take the proud, those who are set up high, and bring them down. We serve a God who will take those who are lowly, who are down, and bring them up. We serve a God who takes the weak and makes them strong, who takes the foolish and makes them wise, takes the wise and makes them foolish. Next session, we're going to be talking about not in word, but power. Until then, seek God while he may be found. If you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.